People across the Midwest, including Iowans, have dealt with a series of heat waves this summer. Health experts say hotter weather is harder on the heart, and outdoor construction workers need to be extra mindful. Cities like Des Moines, Waterloo, and Sioux City are expected to see temperatures well above 90 degrees in the next several days. That's prompting reminders for vulnerable populations to protect themselves from the hot and humid conditions. Lisa Layton of the construction firm Ryan Companies says workers on building sites should know the dangers too. Construction workers are more susceptible to heat strokes and heat exhaustion due to the fact that they're working outside. And workers in the construction industry have a higher prevalence of cardiovascular disease than employees in other fields. She cites those findings from the American Heart Association, which works with companies like Ryan on the Hard Hats with Heart campaign and outreach to construction workers about their elevated health risks. During heat waves, Layton suggests starting the day earlier to avoid the hot afternoon sun, as well as taking regular breaks, staying hydrated, and wearing lighter clothing. The AHA says construction workers with heart disease are already 60 percent more likely to retire on disability and to retire early because of poor health. Layton says that's why it's especially important that they protect themselves in the hot weather. She hopes site managers take extra notice as well. Making sure they're watching for some of those signs of heat exhaustion or heat stroke and possibly even tell the the workers that they need to take that break. She says even though staying on schedule is important for construction projects, safety is the biggest priority. Some symptoms to look out for include headaches, dizziness, muscle cramps, and fast and shallow breathing. If a worker displays these signs, they're advised to find a shady spot douse themselves with cold water, get rehydrated, and possibly seek medical attention. Mike Moen, Iowa News Service. Find our rate trust indicators to support transparency and accuracy at publicnewsservice.org.